But today I'm going to show you guys how I clean my motherboards and my GPUs and also I'm going to do some tests before and after to see how much of a difference this really makes. So today we're going to be cleaning this graphics card down and this motherboard with brake cleaner and CRC556. We're also going to use alcohol. This is going to be my usual method. So what you want to do is you want to take the battery out of this uh, motherboard here so there's no current going through it and then you want to start taking off the heat sinks so let's start taking off all these heat sinks and then we'll get on to the next step now also before i start taking off heat sinks and stuff until i actually want to clean the socket out i just put a cpu in there and all this allows me to do is just make sure that i'm not going to bend any pins when i'm like being rough with this All right, so we've pulled this heatsink off here. This is the main heatsink covering the VRM and also the North Bridge here on the X58 board. Now, this uh, pad actually doesn't really need to be replaced. It's still in decent condition though. If it is bad, you can then uh, just get it all off. So I'll actually do it just quickly for this video. So just take it all off and then we're gonna replace it with a pad that we got off eBay for like a dollar. Now this is the North Bridge heatsink right here and usually a lot of the times with X58 this can get really crusty. So I've got an old heatsink, um, sorry an old socket cover here which is actually hard plastic and it does a really good job of getting off this crap around here. So you just uh, literally get you know in there, get it all off and we're ready. After that we'll be ready to apply the thermal paste. Now you may wish to use an alcohol wipe to help you in this process. So now we can see here that this heat sink is pretty much really crusty. So this is the final resort here. This is getting a little sanding block. This is like an old one that's been used quite a bit. There's 60 grit and we're just going to literally go ham on it. Okay, so that one took a little bit longer than usual, but after you're done, you just uh, scrape it back with your fingernail and just make sure that it's smooth. <laughs> Looking much better now. You can see the actual writing there still on the heatsink, so we've gotten through to the surface now. And now we're ready to do the south bridge. So with the south bridge, you generally don't have to worry too much. This, um, they generally never get hot. So just a quick, a quick uh, clean here. And you can see here they even use a different type of thermal paste because it just really doesn't matter a whole lot on the south bridge. So for this next part, we're just going to loosen up all these screws on the back here. Usually you do this with a little screwdriver. The big ones usually don't fit. So let's get on with that. Alright, so once you've undone all the screws, the graphics card should come off like this and then you just unplug that uh, four pin connector there on the fan and now you're looking at what is essentially the fan plastic shroud there which is separated from the heat sink, which is great because we can just clean this down with alcohol wipes. We don't want to put brake cleaner on this because it's plastic and um, 
But this here, we will just clean this down with brake cleaner, get all the dust out of the fins there. And then this here, we will also be cleaning down with brake cleaner as well. So upon pulling off the uh, memory heat sinks and the VRM heat sink here, these are actually pretty decent. I've just got to get all the dust off that to make them look pretty good. But otherwise they're in pretty decent nick. Uh, the only main thing here of course is the GPU die which has this pretty crap heat sink paste on there and it looks terrible. So we're going to clean that off both the GPU heat sink and the uh, die. And then we're going to put on some new heat sink paste. So let's get on with that. Also, I'm going to quickly take these thermal pads off before I do this. And now one good thing about these old school cards is that they're just made so well. You can see these thermal pads are still in pretty good damn condition for considering how old they are, which they're these cards like what, how many years old now? So I'm just going to put them back on this one and then we are going to clean this graphics card. So for this next part, we're just going to get some uh, brake cleaner. This is this stuff here. And then essentially just hose down the parts. Okay, so now's the next step. We've just uh, cleaned it down with brake cleaner. So if the brake cleaner didn't take some stuff off, it would have loosened it up. So the alcohol wipes will uh, get that stuff off, but it'll also take the brake cleaner off, which is slightly corrosive. So we wanna get that off as well. And so we're just gonna give it a nice alcohol wiping down.
Okay, for this next step, you wanna make sure that your motherboard and your graphics card or whatever you're spraying down is completely dry before you continue on to the next step. Now, you can just leave this stuff, uh, you know, sitting somewhere overnight or you can put your heater on low and that'll dry it up really quickly. It'll probably take like 20 minutes to dry everything up. Uh, that's what I'm doing here. So don't put your heater on high because you don't wanna destroy your shit, but um, you know, just put it on low and let all this stuff dry up and then we'll be ready for the next step. Alright, so now it's time to put the graphics card back together and the motherboard, but we'll start with the graphics card and just uh, we'll put the VRM heatsink back on. Now this is the stuff that I use called CRC556. Now this will act as a um, something that will make it look cosmetically awesome when it's finished, but also act as a protectant and protect the components, work as like a layer. Uh, so yeah, it's got twofold purpose. I really love working with this stuff, can highly recommend it, and it won't short circuit anything. So let's get on with it. So for this next part, we're gonna put some thermal paste on the, what looks like the internal heat spreader. This actually looks like they've done an IHS on the die, which is kind of weird. I mean, I would um, delit it if it was uh, thermal paste that they used underneath, but even then it would take me a while, I think, on something this big. So I'm just gonna, for what it's worth, I'm just gonna do a quick spread job here. Now, a lot of people are like, look, dude, you should be doing the P method. It's like, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, you know, I've tested this stuff time and time again. This method is so consistent. You see here, I'm just literally getting that last bit down. And now we've got an even layer, smooth layer. It's gonna work really well for the task. So this next part, we are going to put down the thermal pad here on the VRM heatsink, and it's very easy. Uh, we just line that up and we cut off enough there. I mean, that should be about right. So we just cut that off and then we can put it on. Alright, for this last part, we're just going to get some CRC556 and just essentially just spray it on and give it a light coating there and then just polish it down after that. So there we go guys, there's the finished product right there for both the graphics card and the motherboard. You see they kind of look like they're brand new now. Not only that, I'm very confident in how they will perform as well. So this is my method and let's get on with the final test now for the graphics card to see how that performs. I'm gonna love you, baby. Cross my heart, hope to die. 
We're going to look at some before and after temperatures. When I tested the Gravis card just straight before I cleaned it, it was getting 74 degrees after I ran a full benchmark in Unigine Valley. Now this was at 26 degrees ambient temperatures with the custom fan profile set to 70%. Now after we cleaned this Gravis card, we got with a drum roll. Sixty-four degrees. That's right. We got a ten degree drop just out of changing the thermal paste and cleaning up this graphics card. That's all we did, and we got a ten degree drop, which is freaking huge. And this is apples to apples. Both times, the temperatures in this room was twenty-six degrees Celsius, and at both times, the fan speeds were set to seventy percent. So we got apples to apples, ten degree drop, freaking huge. Now another interesting thing about this GPU is that Nvidia back in this day went with an internal heat spreader and they decided to do what Intel's doing nowadays and that is glue it on with thermal paste in between the die and the heat spreader. And I'm sure if I delitted this thing, the temperatures would have dropped that much more as well. Though something like delitting a GPU, it's kind of, it would be a very tedious process. Something that I don't want to do on a $25 graphics card, even though I know you guys would love to see it. <laughs> I just really don't have time at the moment to chop apart a $25 GPU and also risk bricking it in the process because with the CPUs, I'm used to doing the vice method as opposed to the GPU. I don't really know uh, how to tackle that one. I mean, I actually did try hacking it up with my art knife and I gave up after like five minutes because it would have taken me a mammoth amount of time to do it. So there we have it, cleaning up your PC parts, I can highly recommend it. Not only do you get a cosmetic enhancement, but you also get a massive performance enhancement too. Now with that Northbridge on the motherboard, I've actually tested this in the past and that's made a big difference as well. And it's actually funny with this motherboard lineup, the X58 lineup, a lot of people were actually taking the heat sinks off as soon as they bought the product because they used cheap thermal paste. As you can see there, it was very hard. That stuff is terrible. So. I don't even need to test that to tell you guys that the results would be a lot better. Though that's about it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. Hit that like button if you have any questions or comments about cleaning up your PC parts or anything in general. If you just want to tell me something, drop it in the comment section below and I'll read it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Yes City and I'll catch you in the next enthusiast tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye. You've got to get an apple. Then you've got to get another apple. Then you've got to compare them head to head. Oh uh, shit, that's gonna bruise, damn, like, f you know, like, the, the apples are expensive. Brian, you've got to go check out this guy's video. He shows you how to spread thermal paste with that insane amount of pressure that he's putting on that PGA socket there. And if you put it on an LGA socket with that much pressure, you'd f your motherboard. Oh, hang it like them apples in it. Oh, yeah.